Flexible AC Transmission Line, Chapter 1, Class 01. Okay, so coming to the topic. So we have in the in the previous uh, class we are learning the so what is the fats syllabus? Okay, why we are going to need the fats uh, subject? Okay, so in this class we are going to learn about the introduction to the fats. Okay, so here the chapter one is the fats concept class zero one. So here. So here, what is the facts and need of fact in our system? Okay. Here in the conventional AC uh, transmission, we are having the so we are going to do the that is AC powers uh, going to transmit. So here uh, is generating station to um, for our homes. Okay. So we are having the different uh, different transmission line distribution lines. Okay. Different controlling system will be there. So here, whatever the power is uh, generated, okay, that will be transferred to the through, through transmission line, distribution line, and through the our home domestic line. Okay, so here, what will happen is some uh, whatever the we will having this some losses will be taken. Okay, to overcome the losses and reduction of voltages. Okay, some cases will be up. So short circuits will be up. So to avoid that and to maximum power okay what is the power is there that will have to transfer with the uh, freely and smoothly okay so we are going to do in that by using the fax device okay flexible ac transmission so here in the in the transmission system we are going to able to transfer ac power is limited by several factors like we have the thermal limits transient stability limits and voltage so in the we having the 400 kb we are using uh, transmission line as well as whenever the generator is generating that is 11 k so we are step up the that voltage so from 11 k to 400 kb or we are having 750 kb also is transmission line from there and here so why we are going to do the from 11 kb to 400 kb means to whatever the distance is there from consumer to generating session to whatever the losses will occur to uh, to avoid the losses we are going to step up the voltage okay and in between that based upon the transmission lines distance okay from load uh, load center to generating session that will be having the sometimes uh, will having the more kilometers okay in that cases uh, voltage drop will be occurs due to the thermal effects and uh, weather conditions the voltage will be reduces okay and, and here and these limits defies the so whatever the power is there okay that will be uh, efficiency will be decreased so to without the uh, uh, whatever the efficiency is there over to efficiency to whatever the efficiency we have to increase it so without uh, any damage okay whatever the efficiency is the without damaging that we are going to using the that transmission line effectively by using the fact okay it is being here generally it is achieved by the introduction of variable impedance so before uh, fax device we are using the series compensation shunt compensation and resistor inductive compensation regulating methods so that is a reactive compensation method uh, that is act to come okay that power methods will be used so in that cases we are going to that uh, that is a traditional so we are now they are using the fax devices okay in the ideal transmission line so active in the ideal transmission line, active power should be is equal to the appearance so if it is if we have the three different types of powers one is active power reactive power apparent power so active power is whichever whatever the power is which we are using okay that is a active power so here in the reactive power is the which is transferred from low uh, low to generating state okay so low to source that is a reactive power here in the ideal transmission what have to have to happen active power should be equal to the uh, apparent 
so uh, apparent power is nothing but here yeah. so active power plus reactive power that is a apparent power so that is we had uh, apparent power is denoted with the s s is equal to p plus q so power whatever the power is there okay that is active power which where we are using p indicate with the p and react power whichever you using indicating with the q okay so that will be should be in the same that is whatever the active power we are using that will be same as that of the total apparent power so but in cases uh, practically it uh, it not uh, it is not not happen okay due to the reactive power so here so whatever the load we are using so it is having the different power factors load okay uh, in general we are taking the whatever the power factor we having the so that is having the lagging power factor okay you know the power factor only available for the resist to only and general we are, uh, in in some cases only capacitor banks if you use so the power factor may be increases okay so here from it will be lag to let us look the what is the need and purpose so here yeah, some okay. here in the flexible ac transmission system we are having the consistent of fast active power okay electronic control which having the in the we are using in the uh, flexible ac transmission line we are using the fast acting power electronic controller along with the power system in traditional power system we are have have only using the only uh, uh, controlling the which are having the resistive elements inductive couple but in the fax device we are using the controllers power electronic controller in the power system device to enhance the controllability and stability so in the transmission line so along with the increasing of power transfer cable of the existing system so in the general cases what will happen without using the fast devices will have any some losses will be there okay so sometimes maybe power uh, variation will be there it will be it, uh, due to the weather condition atmosphere condition thermal condition stability problem so what will happen the system efficiency will be reduced so without affecting the system uh, efficiency we are going to have to increase the existing one so power uh, power cable we have to increase it so we have to using the by using the so the use that by using the fax devices only okay so basically power electronic devices control the inductive or capacitive power in the network so here in the we are having the in the mainly we are going uh, if you talk about the active power reactive power okay so in the power electronic do what will do that the it will control the inductive power or capacitive power so if we control the inductive power so that we can easily affect the that is in the active power also if we decrease the inductive power so it may be increasing the that is active power okay so in the capacitive banks we are also using okay so if it is uh, look at uh, this system here the power is transferred between the two system from one system okay the source to one source to here will having the some impedance will be there so here power flows so uh, what will having so whatever having power is there okay so it will be there. by v and x power flow controlled by v and x so we have the impedance is there, that will be in the source so these are in the sources we have the source one source two here we have the load center so here impedance we are indicating with the x and here load angle indicates with the alpha so if load angle increases whatever the power consumption also it is increasing okay here if we go with the history of the origin of the facts okay so here in the it will started in the year era of um, 1974 to 1979 so at, uh, at the stages will having the environmental movement magnetic field concerns okay and the permit to be 
so in that to build a new transmission line so why uh, why we are uh, go for the in the fans okay why they went for the fans uh, without using the uh, traditional method means is having the two, two whatever the methods is having okay mainly in the admiral moments okay magnetic field concern and which is which okay we are having the this uh, here this uh, these are the main uh, study of the facts here mainly in the why we are going for the transmission um, transmission line interconnection means so if it is interconnection is not possible okay if we consider if it is interconnection is not there okay so in the grid so it is uh, interconnection nothing but uh, whatever the ideal hydel thermal nuclear power plants is. so we are going to interconnect the that system so whatever the power is developed in the nuclear thermal hydel power so combining that we are going to the making the grid from that one we are going to transmission interconnection with that from that one we are going to uh, transfer the tran of power okay here so if it is uh, interconnection is not there so if it is only if we get the transmission line uh, from only new thermal power plants so if it is any fault is occurred in the thermal power plant so we will not get the to the uh, power to the load so to avoid that we are going for the interconnection if it is thermal power plants if any fault is occurred so we can uh, get the power from the nuclear power plant if it is nuclear power plant is under maintenance we will get from the hydro power plant okay based upon the uh, factors and all will of power load uh, load needs okay demand so we will getting the power from the different sources so here it may be load center okay so here what the purpose is that to minimizing the generation cost so if you use the generation cost okay if you talk about generation cost here if using thermal power plant so to generate the power it will having the uh, for you it will get the five five rupees to ten rupees so if you get the that uh, same amount of power is developed by the hydro power plant it will be it will having the three rupees to four rupees if example okay i'm telling about the, as an example coming to the uh, same cause of the here in the nuclear power plant so nuclear power plant having the less compared to both because the nuclear power plant having using the different so it will generate the more amount of power compared to the thermal and hydro power so here the generation cost will be reduces so by combining the hydel nuclear thermal plants so what we are going to use for load whatever the load is there so at that state so we are reducing the generating cost okay and also we are going to the not affecting the environment okay and here what are the opportunities for the facts so if it is facts device okay so what will happen is if it is fact is used in a transmission line okay it will whatever the power capacity will be there that will be increases okay so svc so we are having the tcs systems at uh, okay this day okay we are using these methods so here uh, is the Siemens is the company okay which will use in the facts okay uh, facts devices there okay that will be developed by the Siemens companies uh, at the at year in the 1974 to 1978 they are uh, done at the Brazil okay and UPF, UPFC that is the 19 company uh, it's a controller TCS and UPFC are the controllers this is also the okay voltage control devices tcsc upfc are the fact devices okay they are used in the siemens company used in the 1980 and aap company used in the 1990 so here uh, uh, why we are there for the means so at the stages the power cost will be very very heavy okay so by uh, whenever the evolution in the electronic devices so tremendous development be appeared okay due to that so the generation whatever the transmission is there okay so in that case is also where uh, at the stage so they are all are using the fact go for the fat devices in the transmission line if you take the uh, we are having the transmission lines we are having the 
different transmission line system one is uh, radial interconnected and complex link also here also some limitation will be uh, if it having the flat devices in the radial cases mean only the radial that fill the source to load only without having any connections in between the uh, between the lines okay in the interconnected system so it will have an interconnected system having if it is a failed sector will get from, from the source uh, load uh, load power from the another source the complex network will happen so the complex network combination of the radial and interconnected system it will have the more number of sources compared to the radial and interconnected system okay here uh, in the path row so in the it will having the parallel method and measure path so in the what are the limitations is having the steady state okay steady state issues stability issues system issue so if we talk about the transmission line limitation okay we're having the angular stability thermal limits voltage so here voltage limit we cannot uh, we, we cannot be in the transmission line we cannot be changes the frequent uh, whatever the voltage we required okay we cannot be changed so that will be fixed uh, if you take about the 11 kv 33 kv 66 kv 400 kv 220 kv 130 so we cannot be changes that so that will be fixed so as well as thermal limits will be there so here in our interview based upon the weather conditions okay so the conductor may be expensive in the uh, uh, conductor effects some cases will be having the cloudy cases okay what will happen due to the weather conditions also it will affect the voltage level okay that is the thermal limits and heating expansions okay due to the heat also it will affect the uh, resistance properties of the conductor so that in in that cases also some loss will be occur so that comes on the thermal limits and coming to the stability issues so when switching on of it so we're helping so it may be variations in the starting frequency at the load center as well as generation system okay so if that issues may be occurred in the transit space if it is false occurred in continuous lot uh, fault is occurred at that one situation and that effect will goes to the from source to load load to source some cases okay in the coming to the system issues so some uh, system it will have the power flows will be so if it is a short circuit is occurred in the middle of the transmission uh, that will also affect the if it coming to the load or it may be a effect on the source side okay if it's coming to the benefits of the fan so we have the dynamic reactive power support voltage control okay so it will be improve the system stability and it will be control the real and re uh, react to power flows okay and it reduce the power loss in the transmission line improve the voltage profile and less voltage fluctuation so if you uh, take the fluctuation okay how can we uh, get the fluctuations so in, in if you get the power fluctuations what will happen it may damage the load so uh, if you take the example in our domestic applications okay if it is power fluctuation schemes okay so it may it may damage the our uh, electrical appliances whatever we have in the freezes uh, fans tvs also okay uh, in some cases uh, in villages all this power is increases okay so it may you can see in the newspaper due to the power uh, power variations uh, tvs fridges also burn due to the power failures or power fluctuation okay it may happen so if it's for 230 volts if we get the 250 so it may damage the equipment means uh, for a moment okay not for the continuous if it get the uh, 30 seconds also it may damage the total equipment so if it is for 230 volts it will damage the total equipment so if uh, put 400 kb voltage if it is increases in the power fluctuations may come so what will happen the total uh, system may damage okay to avoid that we are going to using the from controlling the from the facts device okay and the, so it will have in the provide the cognitive management system so it will have in the by controlling the uh, from the uh, grid system we are controlling the total systems okay and security of the system is increased and reduce the blockout chances so here if we talk about the 
system uh, security and blocked out okay it's blocked out mean, uh, is nothing but if it is grid so we rank the five grids in, in india so north uh, north south central grid okay north east uh, region okay south east region so different uh, we are having the five grid so we are comes from the south grid our come uh, we are come for the south grid so in grid so is critical my interconnection of the all the transmission lines so here in this transmission line what will happens so if it is grid it is failure okay so if it is grid is south grid it fails so uh, telangana ap tamil nadu kerala okay that will also affect if it is grid is fail so uh, grid blockage may uh, have happened in the previous years so you can get news uh, if it check the northern grid is failure at, uh, at that cases what will happen so total uh, seven days blockage will happen so there is no power for the seven days okay it may be affect the total power okay so blockage is that failure of transmission line at some grid okay so we cannot get the power uh, so we have to find out the where is the fault is occurred so if it is fault is continuously producing so we have to stop the fault and identify the fault and we have to uh, uh, that we have to eliminate the fault okay then only we can easily flow the power in the transmission line okay and coming to provide a uh, greater flexibility expansion existing transmission system means if you want to increase the transmission lines for your future okay it will be easy for by using the fax devices so in the previous years we can observe that only one transmission line will be available and nowadays what will happen throughout the parallel also another transmission line will be flowing okay that is the future existence so if it is in low, uh, at the load side if its demand is increases so what they do they will producing another line to the load center okay here is the fax application and implementation so we are having the we are having the traditional solution and advanced solution so here in the traditional solutions what they are doing the uh, breaking the resistors load shedding fixed compensation line recognition better protection increase so that will be goes to the transmission line. okay so in the advanced solution what they are using the by using the facts and energy storage devices so that will give the enhance the power okay so traditional solution along with the facts devices we are going to increase the power transfer stability okay so we are not only reducing so we are using the traditional systems as well as some with the facts device okay so what will uh so what the uh, issues is there okay so what they doing to decrease that voltage limits okay if it is power fluctuation in the voltage levels okay as well as thermal limits okay so power flow is the variation condition in that uh, conductor okay if it is thermal effects is there that will be reduced and angle stable so if you come into the power factor issues is there that will also reduce so low flow so if it is short circuit is that will be easily identified the facts device okay so what are the issues okay if you take about the issues transient stability damping power swing and the post consumed voltage uh, voltage stability subsynchronous resonance so there is the some issues will be also there so that will be solved by the facts devices okay by improving the facts or devices based upon the system requirement. Here we have the SVC, Startcom, TCSC, SSC, UPS. So now uh, in the forward class, we will know about the SVC, Startcom, TCSC, SSCC, okay, UPS. So what are the method? Okay, what is that? So is all are the facts controlling devices. Okay. So here we are having the another that. So if it is a conventional source. So in the previous slides i show the what are the method okay here what are the methods is there in the by using it. okay it is a if it is conventional method we're having the rlc transfer okay along the fixed center so transition we're having the center compensation series compensation and short center okay phase shift and transfer by using that we can control the flexibility in the uh, 
in the tra uh, transmission efficiency decreased by the Shen two series and shots in compensation method. Okay, here if you're using the facts, the badges. So here tire stress is okay. So tire resistor hybrid. Okay, voltage uh, voltage source controllers. Okay, that will be done at the SVC, TCAC, DFC. The tire resistor. So by using tire resistors, series voltage compensator. Okay, that will be comes to this one. And the static voltage that is the voltage source. In the hybrid that is tire resistor and voltage source converter and the start come energy store FCM. <coughs> Sorry. Here, uh, coming to the fact controller. So it's the fact control. Is, uh, fact control is the a power electronic base system and other static equipment that will provide the control of the one or more AC transmission system parameter. So here is the fact control is nothing but one power electronic based equipment. That provide the control of one or more transmission system. Okay, that will control the parameters of the AC transmission line. So we are indicating with this this symbol. So if it is symbol, is uh, placed in the block diagram. So uh, we can identify that this is the symbol of the facts control. So sir, uh, is it a uh, power electronics device? That means so it is using the power electronic control only. We are using. So if it is this, this is the symbol of the Fats control. Okay. Here we are having the fats controller that is series controllers, shunt controllers, combined series, series controller, combined series, shunt control. Okay. We are having the series, shunt, combined series, series, and combined series, shunt. So, as like uh, generators, having, uh, we are having the generators motor. So, series generator, shunt generator, compound generator. In compound generator, we are having the series. Uh, Short shunt long shunt. So similarly, here also we are having the uh, series controllers, shunt controllers, combined series uh, series controllers, combined series shunt controllers. Okay, that is a difference. So we have to same that uh, whatever the generators we have different types. Here also having the different controllers. So here, so if you coming to the series control, so if it is series control in the gen, if, uh, come before going to the series controller. So if you coming to these. Uh, DC series generator. So DC series generator. What will happen? So the field is there that will be connected to the in series with the armature. Okay, that is the series generator. So similarly, in the coming to the series controller, we have the transmission. So the series control could be variable impedance or variable source. Both are power controlling base devices. So we we'll decide the next. So in all series control, inject the voltage in series with the. So. Uh, Whatever it is, the, so in the transmission line, so inject the voltage effect, power fluctuation, variations in the and impedance control. Okay, so in that, so voltage, so whatever the voltage we are going to inject in this transmission line, that will be kind of the power electronic control is connected to the in series with the transmission line. Okay, that is the series control. So here, this is the symbol of the series controller. Okay. If it is coming to the shunt controller, okay. In the shunt controller, we have can maybe variable impedance, okay. It may be uh, control the variable impedance line, variable source, or combination of this, okay. So, uh, why we are taking the imp uh, why we are talking about the impedance or sources means here it may depend upon the uh, type of the transmission line false, okay. So, whatever the uh, Stable uh, pulse is there, okay. What are the characteristics of the transmission based on that? That will be used, okay. So, here center controllers of whichever the transmission line is there that will be connected with the parallel, okay. That's why called as the shunt controllers, okay. In the shunt control, inject the current into the system uh, at the point of the connection. So, interconnection is there as long as inject the current uh, is in the phase coordinate, it is increasing the line voltage and shunt controls only supplies the consume the variable reactive power okay this is the point we have to remember so shunt controls only supplies the variable reactive power okay this is for the shunt control if you come to the series control we are going to inject the voltage if you come to the shunt control we are going to inject the current okay that is the difference here coming to the combine of the series series control 
okay here in the series series control where we are going to use the here we are using this one so here when transmission line is there okay by using the we are combining the both one so the combination of separate series controller uh, provide the independent of the re reactive power compensation each line is but also transfer real power among the lines via power link okay so by interconnection by use of the both series series controller we are going to inject it okay power into uh, whatever voltage is it that will be injected to the this transmission okay that is the series series control so always remember that that facts devices only is to that is dc okay dc link will be there in between the between the facts device okay here combination of the combined series shunt control so in the combined uh, it will be separated by series and shunt controllers or unified power flow okay upf controllers means unified power flow controllers will run okay are in principle combine the shunt series controller inject the current in the system shunt part inject the voltage in the system okay by using the series part of the control so here by using the uh, inject the same to the that is a transmission line for the voltage as well as current so we use combination of the series shunt controller okay it is a symbol of the series shunt controller here uh, we are having some controllers we are having the uh, brief explanation shunt control controller series controllers okay combined series shunt controllers okay these are the shunt controllers so in the shunt controllers that means which whatever the uh, parallel we are connected the devices these are the device okay so if you come uh, start comes okay mainly we are using the start comes okay svc tcr tssr okay these are the devices we are going to study in the uh, further chapters okay ssg mean static synchronous generator start come in static synchronous compensator so static start come so start come means static synchronous compensator so BESS means battery energy storage system. So battery energy storage system mainly used in the all facts device. Okay, remember. So static compensator. So start come. So in the examination, so they will not ask about the total. Then they will they will simply mention the describe uh, detail about the start come. Okay. So it will be having the static synchronous compensator. So in the static synchronous generator that is SSD and the SMES means a superconducting magnetic energy storage system okay so superconducting magnetic energy storage so it will be the SMES so we are not uh, we have don't having any uh, syllabus in between in this topic okay here is the static wear compensate so we are going to study up the static wear company SVC okay this is uh, uh, and thyristor controller reactor so thyristor control reactor thyristor switched reactor thyristor switched capacitor okay we're having the reactor so it will have this control switch and capacitor okay and the static wear generator so we are in the static synchronous generator here static wear generator okay we're having the thyristor control baking resistor tcbm so these are the all are types of the in the static control uh, sorry shunt controllers which will be connected parallel to the transmission and these are the types of the facts devices in the shunt connected controller let's talk about we're having the static gun. okay so first if you talk about the start so how it is be represented in the in the transmission okay so start gun. is a static synchronous generator operated there shunt connected static wire compensator whose capacitor are inductive output current can be controlled independent of the ac system okay it will be used for the uh, control the okay current okay output current so in the, uh, it may become so static synchronous generator is it? so 
so it is connected to the static wire compensator that is uh, combined with the svc okay whose capacitor inductive output current can be controlled okay so here the start come here the based upon the voltage source convert so we are having the uh, two types of uh, converters that is voltage source converter another is the current source converter so here based on that so how it may be connected uh, that is if you have to connect the capacitor or inductive okay that's we have to see which voltage source converter means we are having the capacitors if it is the current source converter means we are having the inductive that we have to differ so if it is connected in parallel or series so that is also different for the voltage source converter or current source converter okay so most we are we, uh, which type of we are using means voltage source converters we are mainly using okay comparing to current source converter here this is the static wire compare so here svc so in the svc is a static wire generator whose output is adjusted to exchange the capacitive or inductive current okay it is a exchange the static uh, exchange the uh, capacitor inductive current in the maintain the specific parameter of the electric power system so whatever the transmission line so, so whatever the transmission line is there that current so that current will be control from this okay so inductive capacitor current will be controlled and maintained by the static wire compensator okay here in the tcr tsr tss okay so these are the absorb the reactive power or supply the reactive power so these are tcr uh, tsr okay absorb the reactive power and tss is supply the reactive power okay in this that is the static wire compensator so if it is cancer it says uh, start come is there okay if it is power cost is there uh, for system okay then if we go for the sv system so in the start come having the higher so that's why go for the sv so start come having if it see the svc so he start come having the more controllers is there so it they said the if it is having the cost effect so apart from that so we they will go in for the svc system okay here in the series controllers so here we have the static synchronous series controllers okay s s s triple s c okay so s s c that is static synchronous series compensator interline power flow controllers that is ipfc thyristor controlled series control so why we are highlighting this means we are going to study in the further topics okay mainly so interline power flow controllers thyristor controlled series com, uh, capacitors thyristor switched series capacitor so all are the connected in series so that's why the name is common in the last okay remember so if it is series means that is the series control device okay static synchronous ss means static synchronous series compensator ipfc means interline power flow controller thyristor controller series capacitor thyristor switched key, switched series capacitors thyristor control series reactors thyristor switched series reactor so these are the fact devices okay in series uh, control devices here in the series control so how the, it is connected to the line okay so uh, static series anchor, uh, series compensator we'll talk about so what will do output voltage be what with the independent of the transmission line so it will be increases the reactive voltage okay if this reactive voltage is there so in that line that will be controlled by the by using the series controlling device So it is like a the start gun except the output of AC voltage in series with the line. Okay, that is a difference in between the start gun and this static series, static synchronous series compensator. Okay. So uh, this is the our class. In the in the next class, we are going to discuss about the thyristor control, series capacitors. Combined series and controllers. 
okay and combined series and shent controllers okay other controls so i'll show you some portals we're having in the further so we are going to study about these topics okay in the other classes okay so so students uh, if you have any just Okay, students, uh, now we stop the recording once.